Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored. Joining us now is Talk TV contributor Paula Rowan Adrian, Talk TV presenter Richard Tice, and Talk TV international editor Isabel Oakshaw, and former Conservative MP across the pond, uh, Louise Mench. Well, there's a new YouGov poll out uh, that says that 69% of the British public think that Boris Johnson deliberately lied to Parliament. 14% think he didn't. And interestingly, 51% uh, of Conservatives think he lied to Parliament. So even his own lot think he lied to Parliament. There's also been an advisor, a former advisor called James Johnson to Theresa May, who's now a pollster, has told Sky News that only 17% of people have a positive view of Boris Johnson these days, 62% negative, and he said for context. <laughs> that means Boris Johnson is now more unpopular with the British public than Philip Schofield or Xi Jinping of China, <laughs> which is quite something, quite something. Uh, all right, uh, Isabel. That's, I mean, that, sorry, but that polling is absolutely ridiculous. Well, the British public, you're wrong again, are they? Of course, they're being negative about him this week, but give it a few weeks and it'll blow over a bit. Why should it blow over? Seriously. Why should it blow over? Honestly, to recycle an old argument, because there are so many bigger things to worry about. The than a Prime is, Minister lying to but Parliament? But he's not the Prime Minister anymore. But he was. He's gone. But he was. He's gone. And he's the he's first gone. Prime Minister ever to be censored in this way. I know, I know, but it, but what is doesn't the that, point of continuing... Doesn't that make you feel like... What's the point of continuing to froth at the mouth about this? Well, we're not. At the moment, we're involved in an ongoing story. The report's literally just come out. You're one of these people that says, it's far too... It, it's too late to talk about this, and then the next thing, it's too soon. There's never a good time, is there? No, I think... To deliberate this scandalous behaviour of this Conservative Prime Minister. There's about politics, but I just think we are now wasting energy on this. The guy is finished in the Conservative Party. I cannot see well, if he is, back. if he is, then this is energy well spent. My worry, Richard Tice, <laughs> I have to be honest, is that he will try and make a comeback. Mm -hmm. And rather like Donald Trump in America, there's a constituent of people out there where the worse he behaves, the more lies he tells, the less he honours democracy, the more he attacks the fundamental bedrock of our democratic system, they stay with him. Yeah, and but that's the joy of democracy, Piers. You know, everybody is entitled to vote for who they want to. But I think there's a serious point here, which is that this committee, in saying that you can't even challenge their judgments. You can't even question it. That actually is against free speech. What would you challenge? Would you stand what, or... what would you challenge? Oh, well, the point is, he's allowed to challenge it if he wants what would you, you? What would you challenge? What would I challenge? Um, I think the... Oh, by the way, he's allowed to challenge it. He's he, given he, it two weeks in advance. But the fact... He's allowed to go back and say that, you know... But, but the, yeah, fact, the fact that they increased the sentence it. because he criticised it... Mm. I think is an attack on free speech no, no. and attack I think we need on to the standard. That's this. the only point. All right, well, Paula, no one's doubting what Richard. he's done. No one's yeah. doubting what he's well, done. I don't agree with you, and I think Paula's going to say what I'm about to I think, I think we think need to be, to be clear about this. He wasn't. He didn't receive the further reprimand because he didn't agree with the report. He received the further reprimand because he was told that it was a confidential document. He was supposed to respect the confidentiality, and he failed to do that. This is another example of Boris Johnson... Where's, where's the democratic accountability the of not being able to question to to Why should he be allowed report? democratic accountability when he himself is attacking the very idea of democracy? No, Out of interest. Uh, Look, he's, not, right? he's, he's not attacking democracy. Oh, yes, he is. Well, no, hang on, what we you, have what? a democratic process. Yes. Parliament is the absolute cornerstone. And, and no one's doubting And this and guy is saying the whole thing's corrupt, it's all a witch hunt, there are a bunch of liars. He, which, I don't think I've ever seen, I've never seen a former prime minister try to damage oh. the institution of democracy in this way, ever. Well, I it think... is Trumpian. It's the way Trump attacks it in it America. It is Trumpian, I, I, think, I agree it, with it you. It is that. Trumpian. You but can't actually, feel comfortable about that. I'm not feeling comfortable about what he... No one's doubting what he did. He misled Parliament. There's no question he about that. He lied to Parliament. And the, the likelihood is that he deliberately lied to Parliament. He obviously denies that. But I think you cannot say he can't question the report. And to increase his sentence because he had but, the temerity to question it, no, that, no, no, I think, no. is vindictive. It's not because he had the temerity it to question exactly it. It is exactly because he questioned that. it. That, that is all wrong. He, exactly. Yeah. It was a confidential document, but one before, that he knew that he was supposed to respect the confidentiality, yeah. and he decided to completely but he, disregard he, that. Here's what he did. He, he was here's invited, what he did, Richard. He, he, got, invited given, to make he got given the report two yes. weeks before. He studied it. He realised he was going down, mm. right? He realised he would have to probably lose his seat. He realised the game was up. And he so, he did, so he did what Trump did yeah, he when Trump... Blew it up. He just mm. blew up, blew up yeah. the whole thing yeah. and has carried on blowing it up, right? And my answer to that is we should just... That's enough, Boris. 
we don't have to go down the American route where he just comes back and does it all over again. We don't. Well, so you only, you only believe in free speech when it suits you. No, no. That's no, the no. point. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Once again, Paul is completely well, well, right. Well, you the, are the, actually wrong on this. Well, maybe we should go to your own partner and get her to yeah, explain you to you why wrong. you're wrong. Isabel. Because you're, you're wrong, because the point is that he shouldn't have criticised it before it came out, because that is the agreement, and it was like, it's basically like he broke Human the embargo. It's not a free speech issue. That he shouldn't have done it's not a free speech issue. But, but it's, about, it. it's about him deliberately torching the conventional process of how these things are reported to the public. And he knew the, what he was doing. The, they, they said they, they increased the sentence, right, because... He challenged their report. Which not because he challenged the report, because, because he broke every rule around the release of the report, mm. and then he torched at the very idea of democracy. Mm. And he's a prime minister, for God's sake. Former prime minister. And when we Until about... recently, a prime minister, the most powerful politician in Correct. this country. And he's torching paid, and he's quite democracy. Right, and, he's, and he's paid the price. Yeah, so he should. I'm, I'm actually getting fed up with people trying to defend Boris Johnson. I'm he's not defending not, him. He's not this cuddly, lovable guy I that all his supporters are keeping. Really no one's defending him. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just this report is a guy who systematically lied, lied, lied. It's not the first time on that rodeo. No. He lied He lied when he was fired from a, a newspaper, The Times, for making up stories. He lied when, by, when he lied to Michael Howard about an affair at The Spectre and so on. You know, mm. Boris has always lied. We all know that. And it was kind of funny for a while until he started doing it over COVID yeah. when people were dying. And can I make a prediction here? Because I don't think he's going to make a comeback, actually. I don't think this is at all about him making a comeback. I think what this is about is him making himself this figure of, uh, of intrigue, of okay. grandeur. I've just remembered. Wants his money. <laughs> Hang on, I've just remembered, money. Louise. Louise has been oh. waiting very patiently. <laughs> I'm still thoroughly enjoying the debate, but I've completely forgotten you're over there. Um, Louise, OK, uh, well, you're going to try and defend this... the indefensible, are you? Yes, I am, but I don't oh. think it is indefensible. I'm a bit of a sticky wicket if you're fed up with hearing people defend Boris Johnson, because that's what I'm just about to do. Somebody has to push back on you, as great as you are, saying mm -hmm. throughout you. this show, saying throughout this show that Boris Johnson has been attacking democracy and attacking Parliament. This committee, this little quango, is not the same thing as Parliament. It's not it a quango, the same thing it's as a democracy. committee of Boris... parliamentarians it... led by four out of the seven being Conservatives. They're your people. They're Boris's because... people. It's not a quango. Who were picked by the as House. The last panel, it's as a the group last of MPs panel, selected by, by Parliament to adjudicate against MPs. And guess what? A bunch of Tories found out that their Tory was a liar. That's it. Piers, it's not a Labour Piers, thing, it's not a quango, not just, it's not a Lib Dem thing. Just... I didn't do it. It's the Tory party people who did it. Piers, the committee hasn't just threatened Boris Johnson. And by the way, how do you know that it was only 40 days originally? You know that because this committee themselves have been leaking. They didn't just threaten Boris Johnson. They came out um, a couple of days ago and they started throwing their weight around and threatening not only Boris, but any of his supporters in Parliament who also criticise them. They think that they are above the law and it's a small group of people that have done this. Now, I've read this report and I don't agree with you. I don't think it is a meticulous piece piece of work what? and I don't think your view is universally held. I see the Times, I see the Telegraph, the headlines today, lots of people saying that they've gone way too far, that it's spiteful and that it is over the top. Now, is Boris finished? And you don't yes, think Boris's is response now. has been spiteful and over the top? No, I think he's entitled to defend himself against the group a bunch of people of liars. that are out to get him, one hunt. of whom went to a party He said himself, the whole thing's a Jenkins. stitch up. They're all a bunch of liars. Yes, that's called free speech. Why do Maybe you believe free... in it? No, no, I you do. You believe in it. I do. Except when it doesn't see you. No, no. You're Why? getting me, yes. you're getting me completely wrong. In the House I of believe in free speech. I don't believe in him torching the process that these he things He hasn't torched him. Yes, he has. He's torched the committee. He could have defended himself originally in the House of Commons. the process. So, Louise, do you think Boris can actually make a comeback? And if so, why? Yes, he can. And the answer to why is quite simply, as whoever it was said, events, dear boy, Ow. events. He's not going to be able to make a comeback before the election. That is obvious. And I think he's leaked his plans, if you like, to The Times tonight when he has said that... He's waiting for Rishi Sunak to lose the election disastrously, and even then he's not going to try and come back immediately. He's going to wait for somebody to, to follow Rishi and not to land a blow on Keir Starmer. And then when the Conservatives are tired of losing, that's when they might go back to the guy who delivered an 80-seat majority. So you can well, write he did him deliver off it, like, and then but he, I think he, you'll be the only one. He, and then he squandered it.
and he squandered it because he kept lying and he kept he kept breaking the rules that he set for everybody else and unfortunately when you do that as prime minister people don't like it it turns out who knew Isabel, can you make a comeback? No, I just cannot see it in the Conservative Party. No. I mean, maybe he can do it outside the Conservative Party. What about the Reform that. Party? Oh, well, hang on, that's a bit awkward. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no, is there I a told you on Tuesday night, I'm happy to repeat the point. How would you feel if you wanted to come and run the Reform Party? Look, the point is, we've got massive differences. You look down a bit nervous there, Richard. We've yeah. got massive differences <laughs> about net zero, about yeah. immigration. Where we have the similarity is doing Brexit properly. And would you, stand, would you him, stand aside with, for him? With the people around him, he failed to do so that. So would you stand aside for him? Uh, it's, it's not an issue. Because He's such a winner. I mean, it's, it's why a, wouldn't you? It's a, it's a hypothetical question. No, it's, we've it's got an massive, actual... No. No, we've got Richard. massive difference. But you believe in free speech, Richard. Yes, I so so I've asked you a question. And, and, and in I've the spirit it, of free I've speech... Said, in the spirit of free speech, we've got massive differences. That is the key. So you wouldn't want him running the party? Well, but I don't think anyone I don't, wants him running I don't, I don't want anybody running the party that I lead who doesn't agree with the clear principles that I agree with. So you and don't our massive to policies. be clear, you don't want him to run the party. To be clear, no one should run our party that doesn't agree with our You're policies. You're sounding like a politician. Oh, you are a politician. <laughs> uh, come on. Should he run the party, yes or no? Oh, he's not going to run the party. That's it's, absolutely that, absurd. You're no asking an absurd have... hypothetical question. Yeah. We fundamentally disagree on some major issues. If it's so absurd, answer policy. the question. If it's so absurd, Could they answer yeah. the question. <laughs> well, I think you need to rephrase the question, Piers, and you might get somewhere. The fact Well, is how would you phrase it? You obviously know the right question to ask. There are people, I'm, I'm, well, Hang on, Isabel, you ask the question. I'm just... Well, OK, let me put it this way. Do you think you could work with him? Good question. Good question. On Brexit, yes. No, no, with the reform party. On Brexit, yeah. on Brexit, we should do it. Look, we've left. We should do it properly or not do it so at all. So you can so work with Boris on, Johnson on and the reform party? On Brexit. You, you could work with him? In, a, in some form the of... The door's relationship. open. You're inviting him in, no, right? what, I, what I'm saying is... Serial liar you're happy what, to have no, what I'm saying, working in your party. That's not what say I'm that. saying. That's not what well, I'm saying. Well, he's a serial liar. I'm saying you just invited him to come and join the party. Brexit, no, he didn't. That's not what I'm saying, Piers. This is good. We're, 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 we're saying... We've got to leave it there. All of us Brexiteers should work oh. together. OK.